What's up, lines? What's up, my fire babies? What's up, Leo gang? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a line for September 2019? <laughs> Are you guys in this space of only focusing on what's beautiful and yet to come? And releasing this aspect of damn control on trying to control how it's coming, when it's coming, who it's coming from? <laughs> Hmm, are we being more optimistic? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, y'all, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, feel free right goddamn now, okay, to find another reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, all right? Thank you all in advance for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the readings, the support. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it, okay? Also, you guys, make sure that you go ahead and uh, stay. You guys, if you haven't followed me on um, Instagram already, please go ahead and do so. It's at underscore, I'm going to say underscore, at mocha underscore love underscore tarot, okay? Um, I do do weeklies. I owe y'all one this week. I'm start with the mail signs because they about ready to cut me. <laughs> Libra want to Libra want to slip through. Okay, I'm I'm coming, Libra. If you cross watching and you a Libra, I'm coming. Libra is going to be one of the live streams. So I was trying to get all of the uploads done first. Um, Libra and Pisces got some heavy ass energy. So when I'm doing them, I might gotta make sure I don't got shit else to do later on today. So if you got if you cross watching and you one of them, okay, don't cut me. Be understanding. It takes a lot of energy to get these readings out to you all, y'all. And might and might I add they free? So don't be rushing me for no free shit. Okay? Let's keep it moving. Cause some some people don't be wanting to tell y'all, oh, this is my shit, I'm gonna say what I wanna say. And I suggest that when you run your shit, Leo, you say what you want to say. Okay? Cause sometimes it needs to be said. We just vessels. The sword of truth. I'm gonna say that shit. Alright? That said, thank you all um for being patient with me, okay? Also, I pray that y'all enjoyed y'all birthday season or whatnot. Did y'all show y'all ass a little bit or a lot of it? You know, put in the comments, okay? Also, um, you guys, again, I'm going on vacation. Um, so my last day that I'm taking readings is on September 19th. So if you need a reading, you guys, get your special. I got some specials going on, on Instagram. Get it in, okay? Definitely feel free to reach out to me. Also, to the uh, new subscribers, Hey y'all, hey, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional over here. <laughs> we don't fight and fuss, but we laugh. We cry sometimes. We cuss. You know, positive vibes only though. We share, we evolve. You know, we enlighten one another. We one big happy family over here. Also, uh, to the returning subscribers, gang, gang. Hey, boo. Hey, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Because I miss y'all. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get it. So, uh, ultimately, um, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Leo. This will be from now to September the 15th, 2019. You guys, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it does not resonate, don't try to put that motherfucking shoe on and put it on. If it's too big, your ass gonna fall. Okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Right? For now, let's get into these intuitive messages for my la 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 Leo. Okay? Let's get it. So for the month of September, you guys got rumors. Gossip, clarification, deep breath, renewals, inheritance discussions, forgiveness, fear of success, controlling, doubt before test of trials, needed boundaries, perception, self-esteem, new opportunities, compromise, Starting over, new love, overthinking, positivity only, drama free, allowance, self doubt. Y'all, my hand right be lit. Just go, financial abundance, perception. Okay? So, any of that resonated with you? This is your message. Let's talk about it. Overall energy around the reading. You guys got, whoa. The wild, this is my T.I. card. You can have whatever you like if you stop trying to limit yourself by the way you're trying to control how shit's going in your life. Because you, you're doing this from a space of fear, 
But for that matter, for some of you all, I'm hearing also it's perception, the way that you perceive what you feel like you do deserve. Some of you guys are not going after something that you really, that, to be honest, that belongs to you. OK, because you have this fear of not being successful in actually obtaining it or you are, are allowing other people's perceptions around what the hell they think you should do to slow you down. And that should no longer cause you a delay. OK, for others of you, some of you guys are being called to make a move. Beautiful opportunity, but you're trying to control somebody coming with you. And people come in our life for reasons and seasons. OK, so for this during this time frame, a lot of you all are going to be focused on the aspect of control. Some of you all are finding compromise in a controlling situation or atmosphere, okay? For some of you all, you're realizing that you can't control other people. You can only adjust yourself and how you react or, for that matter, what you allow in your energy um, or the particular circumstance or situation or person. So I feel like for some of you all, if you're feeling as if you're overly fighting for something to go a particular way or for someone to fit or for something to fit, Spirit is saying you might want to step back and perceive that and really kind of weigh out your assets and liabilities on if I keep this, okay, with me knowing how this can affect my assets, what liabilities am I willing to take? Period, okay? With me knowing how this can affect what I have going on, Instead of me trying to control things, I'm going to surrender and just accept the fact that the things that I can't control, I'm not supposed to. That's not my job. That's spirit's job. That's God's job. Okay. Overall angel message you guys got for the month. That was overall angel. angel message you guys got for the month is victory. Archangel Sandalphon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. For some of you all, the trumpet is being blown on that bullshit in your life. I feel that for some of you all, it's about you actually, for some of you all, I feel like you were trying to find a way around situations, like some type of healthy compromise to either, even help others in your external, but you're being called to pull, pull yourself within, go within the self. And even if you're having an issue with the controlling person, step outside of your emotions for that person, whether they're mom or daddy, sister, uncle, cousins, boo thing, side piece, whomever. OK, uh, hubby, whatever, wifey, whatever. you Y'all know your life. OK, but I definitely feel. um, You guys, need, in the month of September, there's a need to play the cards, play your cards right. Make every move kind of as if it was going to be your last one, because I feel like for some of you all. You <laughs> somebody, some of y'all got somebody playing right into your hands. For some of you all, I'm feeling this aspect of self-doubt, again, self-doubt, what I don't deserve. Whatever it is that you told yourself in the month of September, yourself going to tell yourself, you a motherfucking liar. I do deserve that. Not only do I deserve that, but that belongs to me. It's mine. And then you're going to go get it. Okay? So let's see what's going on. I check with the other signs and finances for my Leo. What messages do you have? As it pertains to finances for the month of September. What they money looking like. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the crosswalkers for the sign of Leo. What suggestions do you have? What messages do you have for them as it pertains to their finances and career? How is September going to affect Leo's? Yeah, some of you guys. Some of y'all are feeling guilty about leaving a damn job, okay? And some of you guys also may, some of y'all may be asked to separate from a job. Others of you, you're going to find out if you're friends with a Virgo at work or you think you're friends with that motherfucker at work. Whatever it is that you're telling that person, they is not your friend, okay? Um, some of you all, you want to work for yourself. You want to step away from your job. You want to be, some of y'all want to be an independent contractor of some sort, but I feel like you're afraid to make that move because there's this, I don't know why I keep hearing, what if it doesn't go right? What if it doesn't, what if it doesn't go right? What if it doesn't work out? For some of you all, some of y'all letting the relationship that you have with a lover affect your damn money or leave you in this space of confusion, not knowing next because you have this fear of being by yourself. So some of y'all are over giving, over giving to situations, persons, places, or things that is not matching your same energy. For some of you all, you may be asked to leave a job in the month of September, but what you don't see coming is something that, that that you actually want to do, something that you're passionate about, okay? 
for others of you, yeah, some of y'all I feel that you're going to lay a situation to rest. It, this could also do to gossip as well as imperfectionalism within the workplace. I do feel that some of you guys are trying to go into communications. Others of you could also be going into some type of like herbal care or health care or even um beauty care when it comes to working for yourself. I keep hearing online. So somebody could also be doing like some type of like online um, clothing store or thrift store. Others of you could also be thinking about some type of daycare working around children, but there's some type of, I keep hearing process. Some of you guys are feeling as if you don't have enough for the process. Spirit is saying there's a way around any damn way that's in your damn way. It, there's a way around any way that is within your way. Good country. Slow it down. There is a way around every way that is in your way. You can have whatever you like. The T.I. card. Okay. I definitely feel like some of you guys are internally conflicted about leaving or communicating that you're going to leave a particular uh, position. Some of y'all going to just up and leave a damn job in the month of September. They ain't going to tell nobody. For some of y'all, some of you guys could also get an offer to return back to a job the first half of September. Others of you also are going to have some type of brand new offer. For those of you who have your own business contract work looks good. Some of y'all actually may receive an offer that's going to require you to travel or a promotion of some sort. Others of you are wondering, you, you, you're being intuitively led to leave, to travel, move forward. And I feel like in doing so, what you don't know is that it's a blessing in disguise, especially around your stability. Hmm. Victorious. Okay. For those of you who are tarot readers, for those of you who are who work in the um in the public eye or who works in um the communications field, who works on some type of social media, I do see shit booming for you. Okay. You if you do have some type of online business, business will be picking up for you during this time, and it's gonna kind of sacrifice. It's gonna make you sacrifice. Do I have time to? Even work this damn full time job, or do I have to give me a damn part time job for tax purposes? Okay, I do feel that you guys are manifesting at a very fast pace, but you're not trying to control how things come, you're just being receptive to them coming. Okay, so let's hit it. Some of y'all are going to receive an offer the third week. Well, some of y'all is going to be the third. This could even be today, September the third. Some of you guys have to receive some type of offer. Other than you, this could have to do with the third week of September. Some of you guys are going to be starting a position or receive some type of offer that you've been waiting on possibly since the month of August or September the 21st. Okay. September 11th is also going to be a very um, prevalent day for you all <coughs> when it comes to the finances. Got a damn instant got in my throat. All right. So, three, what messages do you have? Or Leo. Some of y'all also may be going through you. Some of y'all also may be going through some type of crown chakra activation during the month of September. A lot of you all are receiving uh, spiritual downloads of the sort. Some of them they could be coming through lucid dreams. I do feel that some of you all are connecting with your ancestors, especially some type of father figure here for some of you all. This could be a grandfather for some of you all. Others of you, you need to trust what it is that you know. And for some of you all, you ain't, some of y'all are waiting on something to kind of like fall in your lap. But I feel like you're obsessing over it. Like some of you all have this knowing of a particular situation. However, you, well, for some of y'all, you don't want to see it because you want to control how things are going to play out. But I definitely feel like some of y'all got a blessing in disguise and it may be revealed to you in your dream space during this time. Okay. But some of you all, for some of you all, you have this fear of, some of y'all are dealing with somebody who could be a Scorpio. This person could also be a Cancer or a Pisces or an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person wants to leave their options open, y'all. I feel like this person feels as if, or maybe you, maybe you feel as if you want to move towards something or someone or somebody, but you feel as if you're not financially abundant. Some of y'all, there's a water sign around y'all that feels very insecure when it comes to finances. They don't want to relieve a relationship, but I feel like they are not secure on if they'll be able to be independent okay some of you all are wanting to travel very fast possibly to a fire sign who, could have, who you could have walked away from or could have walked away from you other than you this has to do with the renewal sorry y'all i'm trying to see what i get up in my pre-show yes. yes. some of you guys are some of y'all could be dealing with a tourist 
And you could be finding out that this person is already within a commitment or some of you guys are having an issue with the sign of Taurus and opening up their feelings. I'm hearing, I heard it's like asking for a kidney. Others of you, there's some type of truth and clarity that's going to be coming um that's going to be coming out about some type of commitment. Some of you all may be hearing back from school. For those of you who are trying to start school, it looks very positive. You may be worried about late registration. I see you barely making it, but getting in. Some of you all also may be hearing, oh, some of y'all may be dealing with the sign of cancer. Some of y'all relationship may be actually going to the next level. Some of y'all may be getting engaged in the month of September if you're dealing with a cancer, honey. But for some of y'all, oh, I hate when it happens. But for some of y'all, this person may be trying to hold on to you to prevent you from moving on. So like some of y'all may be getting the I'm sorry engagement. It's Trisha just started like that, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys also may be discussing, whoa, may be discussing commitments. Also collaborations and contracts with someone else to build on some type of business venture. Looks positive. Let's just be happy videos. September Bowl. In love. Some of you guys are walking away from a manipulative Scorpio or a person or a Scorpio is walking away from you. Some of you guys, you could also be ending a relationship around dealing with the Gemini. For some of you all, this person was either internally conflicted due to the fact that there was some type of trust issues from the past. So somebody had an issue with letting things go from the past, okay? Some of you all are internally conflicted about dealing a moving forward, uh, possibly with an air sign because they are dealing with the Taurus, okay? I feel like this person, either you or this other person, is kind of in their head about whether they, whether you want to lay the situation to rest all together, okay? For some of y'all who are dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like some of you guys are overthinking the situation. Somebody wants to heal the relationship. Some of y'all could also be receiving some type of unexpected child support payment from someone who you have a child with. I feel like this person does not know how to come in and transform a relationship. I feel like this was an issue of non-communication. Out of nowhere, this person could be a Taurus, a Gemini, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. For some of you all, be careful when it comes to mending a situation with someone who you have children with. Because for some of y'all, this person could be doing... Yeah, some of y'all, this person is coming through as a damn magician. As a mage, this person is finesse y'all, okay? Some of you all have a brand new beginning with the earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. And some of you all, you have somebody trying to come in and finesse your ass out your coin. You're going to be laying a situation to rest because some of you all, you may find this out through gossip. You may get into it with another fire sign online. This person may say something. And even though it's ugly, there is this element of, element of truth to what they're saying for some of you all. Some of you all could actually be starting over or renewing a situation after some type of information could have came out um, with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And some of you all are starting a new beginning and keeping it to your damn self. You don't want nobody in your business. You're not going to put your boo on social media. You learned your lesson from the last time I heard. Others of you, you could be dealing with the sign of Aries. Gemini, Scorpio, that's actually planning a new beginning behind your back. Some of y'all could be finding out that this person is afraid of commitment. Others of you, you some of y'all are dealing with a water sign. Some of y'all scared of love? Or you have to make a decision between two water signs? One that you've been in a commitment with possibly three years, three months, four years, four to five years, four to five months. Yeah, some of y'all having a renewal in love. This person want to do right, Leo. Others of you, you need to make a decision on if you're gonna leave the if you're gonna leave the air sign alone, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because you married, okay, or this person. Okay, some of you all, there's some type of truth and clarity that's going to be coming out regarding someone who could be in some type of commitment. I am seeing pictures, so somebody could even be getting exposed online. Yeah, some some of y'all could actually see a shit show online in the month of September. Um, some of y'all gonna be finding out that you that, that somebody was involved by seeing them breaking up online. Whoever this spouse is, or someone could actually be getting contacted by someone else's spouse, okay? I definitely feel like others of you could, whoa, others of you could be getting an offer to renew a situation or fix a situation from a water sign from your past. 
who you could have children with, but you don't trust this person because you know that this person is money hungry. Some of you all may be wanting to hold on to a relationship with the Scorpio, or you could be dealing with the, with the controlling Scorpio. And I feel like there's some type of power moment that's going to be coming. Like Some of y'all are dealing with someone, and there's a need for someone to acknowledge their abandonment issue or the triggers that's taking place due to your external environment, okay? For those of you, let me break this shit down in elementals, okay? For those of you who are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like there could be internal internal conflict regarding movement forward due to the fact that this person don't want to let go their 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 way of life, what they want to do, what the fuck they want to do, be with the fuck who they want to be with. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who could possibly be in a poly, in like in some type of like polygam poly lifestyle. Maybe this person didn't tell you that, or this person is needing to make a decision on if they want the real thing, something traditional, or if they want to um go back to this damn devil ass energy, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Capricorn who some of y'all could also some of y'all could be wanting to expose an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some of you all could have saw something, could be reaching some researching something. There is positive news for you in any type of legalities or legal legal disputes, baby. If you're dealing with an air sign or a Taurus, okay? Hold on. Let me get it. For some of you all, yeah, some of y'all don't know if you want to lay a situation to rest or if you want to move forward. And I feel like it's been consuming your damn thoughts if you're dealing with Gemini Libra Aquarius. And it has to do with you being you, you being willing to forgive somebody, okay? For some of you all, you're dreaming of something that is just really breaking your heart and you don't know kind of how to bring it to a person because you don't want to seem bad shit crazy for saying, listen, I dreamt that you was a whole ho I mean, so what are you doing? Because some of y'all are going to find out that Hmm. Some of you guys are dealing with someone. The reason why they're not opening up emotionally, some of y'all could be dealing with someone who is kind of confused on if they like the same sex or not. I'm seeing if you're dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So some of you guys have this insecurity like, do I even want to open up and deal with your ass? Or do I just want to walk all away from this shit? Because I walk all the way away from it because I see it being drama in my near future. And so some of you guys are going to choose to cut off an air sign, okay? Or there is some type of honest communication that's coming from an air sign. I feel like it's an exchange back and forth, okay? So agreeing to disagree, all right? If you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, some of you guys need to choose between two water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, okay? For some of you, I definitely see that this is a past life relationship for some of y'all. And for some of y'all, it's a water sign from your past. You're not sure if you can really trust this person, even though this person may be pushing the idea of starting over, okay? For some of you all, you, you, some of y'all may have a family with one water sign and one a family with another one. And you're choosing to clearly communicate with this person. You know, listen, I don't want you. I want to, you know, you guys, for those of you dealing with water signs, Either you or this water sign is finally going to pick a side. And I feel like for some of you all, you could be dealing with a newer water sign. It looks damn good. This person came into your life to assist you with healing and assisting you with moving forward and trusting in love again, okay? So some of y'all have a new opportunity with a water sign after releasing something here. But others of you, if it's a renewal with the water sign, they're saying to take it slow because I feel like both you and this person have some type of fear of rejection or fear of being hurt, which has kind of stood in the way of either one or both of y'all completely opening up so the other person may feel like they have to try to control the union, okay? Y'all got some major kind out here tonight I'm going to clarify. If you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, this person may be younger than you. For some of you all, this person could be very controlling. Some of y'all be careful if you don't want a baby. Leo men. Some of y'all got an earth sign that's trying to have another baby by you so that you won't leave them and start something new. Okay. Some of y'all could be feeling as if you're going to be controlled. Or some of y'all are feeling left out of a situation of some type of family dynamic with an earth sign who you could have children with because they're starting something new. And so you having to meet a new person. Or accept the fact that your kids, some of y'all, um, you could be dealing with someone who is trying to use the children as a way to manipulate you out of money. I feel that there's healthy boundaries that needs to be had, okay? Some of you guys are, um, 
Some of you, I don't know if you want to give all the way to a relationship out of this lack that you have around finances or this fear of not having enough. Or maybe this person doesn't have enough. Maybe you're all the way abundant and this person is coming into your life and you feel as if they're going to be a liability. So that's kind of like you kind of push and pause on a new start. But the fact that I got the Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups and the Hierophant up in this thing, it looks to be abundant. Whatever is coming, that's new. Okay? Hey, Lulu want a, a Lulu. Leo wants that new Lulu. Okay. Let's clarify here. I got the Magician left, the Tower, the Hierophant, the Death card, and the Hermit. Okay? So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with Virgo. If you're dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like for some of you all, there is like fast movement, fast movement to a new situation or a renewal that's trying to happen with this fire sign. Some of y'all is actually starting something new with the fire sign who maybe you've never dated or something never got off the ground. Some of y'all could be a damn Gemini, okay? But I do feel that you have some type of new beginning after moving away or some type of real realization of a third party situation or this third party energy where someone's not speaking up about what they truly want to do. Um, out of this space of feeling as if they're going to be losing or defeated of some sort, even though they're not happy in a situation. Okay, so why is the hermit here? For my Leos, why is the hermit here? Huh, Queen of Cups. So some of you guys could definitely be offering a cup of love to a Virgo. Some of y'all could also be um, kind of shedding light on the situation in order to, to bring some type of renewal to a love situation, okay? Why is the magician here? What my Leos? Why is the magician here? Clarify the magician, please. Hmm, Knight of Swords. So for some of you all, there may be somebody coming. Yeah, somebody could be bringing some type of clarity or, or, or communicating that they want to kind of start over, push pause, have some type of renewal. And I feel like Somebody don't even see this shit coming. I feel like this Queen of Cups, the fact that she's looking this way and the tower is the opposite way. I feel like someone's bringing a perspective. Maybe you or another person didn't open up and tell another tell you how they felt in the past, which is why things couldn't move forward, okay? And some of you all, things are not going to move forward because somebody is already in a commitment. You're finding this out during this time. Why is the sun card here? Why is the sun card here? Nine of all. So some of you all... Or defensive towards starting over or defensive towards somebody, okay? Some of y'all could also have a fire sign that was once defensive towards you, towards your family or your children. But some type of truth and clarity is getting ready to come out that's going to bring a whole bunch of change to a situation. Yes. As soon as I said that shit, we'll afford to clarify the death part. So for some of you all, you could be walking away or ending cycles around Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. <clears throat> You're ending a karmic cycle. And taking a leap of faith into a new one on top. Of, and I got the, the food card and the world card to clarify the lovers. Someone is going to be taking a leap of faith. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries, Gemini, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Some of you guys are leaving toxic energy behind. Discontentment, confusion, doubt, fears. Um, Just holding on to a passionate relationship and not building shit. You're leaving that shit behind. Some of you guys, you're going into a new cycle that you don't see coming possibly with an Aries. Or a Sagittarius or another Leo like yourself, okay? One that involves commitment, baby. Why is the Hierophant here? To fail. Huh, real fast. Some of y'all finna get your Aries back. You miss your boo, okay? I do feel that for some of you all, you having this recognition, you're missing somebody. Some of y'all are Taurus. But I do feel that some of you guys, if this person moved away from you or had commitment issues, they changed their mind. They want to get their shit together. And I feel like for some of you all, the challenge is going to be getting past this emotion, this fear of lack of what happened in the past and if this person may leave like they did like they did in the past. Because I feel like, Leo, somebody could have moved away from your ass, but if they ain't taking your shit, how come? Yeah, some of you guys are making a judgment. Some of y'all been watching another person. Some of you guys are afraid to make a judgment and choose what the heart wants because you're afraid that this younger Gemini, Libra Aquarius, is going to cause some type of ruckus. So you want to completely lay a situation to rest before you start new. And that's what I see you guys doing in the month of September. You guys are going to stop, resist, stop resisting newness in your life. Stop resisting compromising your life. And stop trying to control shit that is just following. If it's following the shit, it's for a reason. God ain't about the confusion. Okay? So I love you all. I send you all peace, blessings. 
You guys, great vibes, a whole lot of abundance, y'all. Love, it's our time. Blaze it up, fire babies, all right? I love you all. If you need a personal reading, y'all hit me up. Mwah. Namaste, babies.